someone here who says um, that she suffered with survivor's guilt uh, post-liver transplant. There appears to be very little or no support here in the UK. Some people also experience PTSD following liver transplant. Um, she also understands that there's an increased risk of suicide and attempted suicide amongst transplant recipients. Would, um, what, do, well, how do you find it in uh, your centre and, and uh, if any of our colleagues have something they'd like to add to this question? This is really a very uh, important um, concern, uh, but a lot of patients, at least in my centre, do not talk about this. I think they should... Um, uh, ask for help and uh, or not only to ask the medical doctors but to the psychologists and we have a team of psychologists and uh, psychiatrists in our hospital and not really it's true they are mainly dedicated to, to alcohol um, um, problems but not only to these ones but as i said my major concern is that the patients do not discuss with us this i i personally can sense this in some of them and I send them to psychologists or to psychiatrists, but uh, a lot of them do not really recognize for themselves this and to their families. Uh, and uh, I think um, this should really be addressed more. And in our uh, questionnaire, this was neither or not uh, touched too much. So I think special questions for this should be addressed. Yeah in order to find more about this. And I just uh, uh, advise patients that uh, really feel depressed. It's true, but sometimes they do not really acknowledge that they are depressed, I don't know, in a way. But um, that's why regularly being in control to and coming to us, we can, as I said, I think we can sense them and uh, send them to specialists related to this. And I think medication for depression from liver transplantation is really important. I, I think there's a lot of guilt. If you've been so lucky uh, to have a liver transplant, I think it, certainly in my case, I felt that I wasn't allowed to ever be unhappy because I was so lucky. Um, I don't think, sorry, you should feel guilt about this. It's nothing happened. This is a procedure that should be done. I just think you should feel happy and you should uh, find that your liver, it's okay. It was just the missing a uh, piece that was not okay in you and now just to embrace the liver as yours and that's all. Then well, it's the a love story that's that... been going on for 26 years. So. I understand that yeah. it's a major trauma and I know this. That's why I think this really should be discussed with psychologists. But I think every patient should see the uh, liver transplant as such, not as a guilt that someone uh, should die in order they... Uh, for the, you to leave. So I don't think, because it's not your fault that that patient had a uh, stroke or an accident. It's really, you should not see the things like this, in my opinion. If I may jump in, Speranza, I think a great summary. And Liz, I think, thank you for, for posting this question. I think this is extremely important and underestimated. We all have to, to, to think, let's say that the pre-transplant setting, there's always emergency. Patients are ill, you think about something else, either it's it's hyper-acute or acute or chronic. And and uh, we really must make sure that in all countries, all settings, uh, these issues are addressed post-transplant. Um, I can tell from my country in Germany, yes, we all have contacts to psychologists, uh, et cetera, experts, but it's a matter of resources. And th this is actually, it really depends on your, your transplant hepatologist, your transplant team, whether they recognize that this patient um, may suffer from, from these issues to transfer them. And uh, it's a gap. Uh, and uh, I think, therefore, this is a super important question we all have to have on our agenda. At least for my country, I can say this is something that is not addressed in a regular structured fashion, very unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. And that's why the connection with the patient is very important. And I really, I, I also think it's really, really under addressed this issue and they do not really want to spoke. But if they are very connected to us, they they open themselves and they we can go further to investigating and treating this. Mm -hmm.